Hello, everyone, and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to download, install, and play War and Magic on our PC. There you see it on the screen. It's an Android game, and we're going to see how to play it easily on our Windows PC. So let's get right to it. The first thing is to open our favorite browser, in our case, Google Chrome, and enter the following URL in our browser. You don't have to enter anything, just go to the description of the video, and there you have the link, or in the first pinned comment of the video, there you will have the link. Click on it, and you will go to the next web page, War and Magic by Bluestacks. Bluestacks is the company that made the emulator, which we will be able to use to play this Android game on PC. Here we see the web page, it tells us a little bit about the advantages of playing this game on PC. Let's proceed to download it. We click this magic button to download War and Magic on PC. We click it, and it won't take long to download the executable, here below we see it, bluestacksinstaller.x. Click on it. Windows is going to ask you for permission to run it, you say yes. We click on it, we say yes, we trust the installer, we minimize it, and we permit it. Here we have the installation. Before continuing, I comment that you have the option to change the installation directory. To do this, click on the option, customize the installation, click on the folder, and change the directory. We do not want, so we click on back. We click on install now to proceed with the installation. The emulator is being downloaded 511 megabytes. Depending on your connection, it will go more or less fast. Now, once downloaded, you are proceeding with the installation of the emulator on our PC. This takes a while, so I'll cut and come back. Installation completed. Now let's proceed with the Bluestacks startup. It always takes a little longer, it may take 2 or 3 minutes the first time it starts, but the following times it's only one shot. Now it's performing some settings. It's just finished making them, and we're going to proceed with the installation of the game in the emulator. This step is essential, click on sign in to access the Google Play Store. It's mandatory, we have to log in to Google Play. Here we are going to introduce our Google account. Our email and password, or our phone and our password. I'll proceed with it. I'm going to cut this part out. There it is, entered data, now we are going to accept this. We click on I agree. We accept the privacy policy and the terms of service of Google, we tell it that we agree, and we will proceed to the next step, which is an option that gives us the services of Google, which is the option to use the backup of the Google Drive. If we want to save the information from this device on Google Drive, we will check the option. We're going to uncheck it because we don't want to back up our Android device to the cloud, so we say no and accept. We're on Google Play, we want to get out of here. To get out of here, we click on this icon. Let's go to the desktop. I've done that because I want to show you how to install the game. Before we install it, a couple of things, first, look at what Bluestacks has installed on the desktop, a couple of icons. The first one is the one we're interested in, the other one we forgot about. If we want to launch Bluestacks again, we click on that icon. Second thing, less than 30 seconds, how to translate the emulator. To do this, we click on this cogwheel. We go to Preferences, click on this drop-down menu, and choose the language. We close it, and it has been automatically translated, and as you can see, it is very simple, we have it completely translated. Let's proceed to install it. We click on this icon that Bluestacks has created, and it sends us to Google Play. It's a normal installation, click on Install. The last configuration to be done, let's hit the Continue button. This is to choose the payment method. We are not going to pay for anything, so we are not going to choose any of these options. We simply click on skip. We skip, and the download begins, 112 megabytes of the war and magic game. Depending on your speed, it will take more or less time. We could open the game directly from here, but I want you to see a couple of things. The first is that we can open the game directly from here. The second is that if we restart the computer, an icon has been created on the War and Magic desktop to access the game directly. Now we're going to access it from Bluestacks. We launch the game, and the first thing that appears is this control screen where we can configure the game controls. I'm going to close it. In case you want to open that configuration panel again, click on this keyboard, and it will appear. And here's War and Magic. A little thing, how to play at the maximized screen and full screen. To play a maximized screen, we click on this icon, and then to return to the standard screen, we restore there. 
and for full screen, we click F11, and we're in full screen. Press F11 to exit full screen. Here we have a keyboard, mouse, full screen. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next videos. Bye.